Why in God's name is the video quality so awful right there? Is this as bad for everybody? What's with the video quality here? Mine's pretty bad too, but then like the picture of just me looks great. But <laughs> well, that's because you're a handsome man. But it's just me, so. Oh, it's on auto at 140. There we go. 144p. Well, you don't look any better. That shouldn't even be legal to have your P so low. Giannis from the NBA was there. No, I can't see his last name either. Can't see there. his first name either. Is it Giannis? Giannis. Giannis, yeah. God. Antetokounmpo. Giannis? Who's Janice? Giannis? Giannis. That's the girlfriend from Friends, right? Giannis. Giannis. WWE season. We're going to want to recruit him. Yeah. He's tall. For the performance center. I don't think it's going to sure. happen, but. Uh... That would honestly be a bigger upset than anything AEW has ever done. I think we expect the Young Bucks to drop these titles at the pay-per-view. I don't. Really? All right. Well, no, well. not now. What the hell do I know then? How did you review this match and not mention the Canadian Destroyer on the apron? So tell me about this Canadian Destroyer on the apron, Craig. Well, it was awesome. You could see it coming from a mile away, but then when it delivered, it was like, wow, it was awesome. And then we had a WWE finish. Penelope Ford comes out. She distracts Ty. She distracted me as well. <laughs> she was distracting. That's fair. In my life, I've known a lot of geeks. How sure. Dare you? Many, many geeks I've crossed right. paths with in my life. I'm appalled. In it's real true. life and just watching geeks. Who in the world has seen more geeks than me? Brandon Cutler may be the greatest fucking geek. Yes. The best professional fucking geek I have ever seen. How does Vinny V feel about Happy Corbin stealing his gimmick? It is... <laughs> the similar similarities are astonishing, honestly. The step-by-step -step process of how Baron Corbin became Happy Corbin is a shot-for-shot -shot remake of how Shoulders to Rally became Vinny V, except I don't believe Baron Corbin ever went into a swamp and came out with a fish in his pants. That's true. What a, what a, uh, what a missed opportunity that is. Yeah, come on. A short joke contest. This again. Well, I, somebody Brian asked. is so short. I will skip all the Brian ones. All yeah, right. Stationary store moves. That's a short joke. That's a short. That's the, Not that may funny. Be, but that may be the joke. shortest joke I've ever read. Why do they call apartments apartments when they're actually together? Well, the apartment complex, the apartments, many of them are apart. They should call them togetherments. Well, no, because some of them are apart. <laughs> if they called them togetherments, we would ask why it was a complex, because they're all not together. You know who's a complex? You. No, I am complex. No. Vinny has easy. a complex. You're very easy to figure out. And actually. you're an apartment complex. <laughs> Cover it. <laughs> That's the winner. <laughs> well, I'll stop reading then. <laughs> That's the winner. On to the wrestling report. I fancied a game of darts with my mate. He said, nearest to the bull goes first. He went, bah. I went, moo. He said, you're the closest. Didn't get that one. I was attacked by a gang of mimes. They did unspeakable things to me. Mm. That's comedy. Chris, like. Chris, I'm clicking like right now. What do you call an IT teacher that touches his students? Uh, He's going to answer. PhD. A PDF file. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you had to read that. How much does a chimney cost? Uh, it's on the roof. I mean, <laughs> it's on the house. It's on the house. You got it right. Are you reading these, Granny, before we do this? Yeah. <laughs> Some people say that firefighters deserve more money, but apparently it was apparently a poll was taken and they all fell through a hole in the floor. You would be the worst at uh, weekend update. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> It'd be pretty funny, though. <laughs> Read it right. again, just like you did. <laughs> I don't know if I can do it again, just like I did. Some people say that firefighters... Fire. <laughs> Some people say that firefighters deserve more money, but apparently a poll was taken and they all fell through a hole in now the floor. Now look right at the camera. <laughs> okay, excellent. This was supposed to be a contest. Can you think of one that won? Oh my gosh. It was a contest. <laughs> yeah. Nobody won, Granny. There are no winners in that segment. And then about halfway through... It was like, well, now we got to do our spots. 
So now I'll, just, I'll put all four guys in the ring and just do a bunch of spots together. It wasn't even I was half- like, what did I fucking waste my time watching the first half of that match for? It wasn't even halfway through. It was like three minutes in. They just gave up. <laughs> no, it was longer than that, dude. Event, aftermath. Dudley Boys defeated the Hardy Boys in 15 minutes, 44 seconds. It was less so than it was minutes. almost exactly halfway. No, you're horrible at math. You got a 50-50 chance of winning. No, it wasn't 18 minutes. That's, that would be a third. You got a 33 and a third chance of winning. No. So it's between a third and a half. 25% at best. You were wrong by 100%. I was wrong by 10%. I win. And you got an eight and a third chance of winning. Vince said three and it was six. That's 100% wrong. Okay, I said half, but it was 40%. I'm 10% wrong. 75% chance chance of winning. So you are significantly more wrong than me. And then add 66 and two thirds percent. You're 90% wronger. I got 141 and two thirds chance of winning. Okay, Craig, your thoughts. The numbers don't lie. Craig's red fived. <laughs> I had to play with him. Vinny joining us here today from his palatial estate in North Bend. As I let him stay home tonight because he's flying out early in the morning to head to Chicago right. for, we don't even know why. We don't know why we're going on Friday. Are we all staying in the same nice place? Meter. I'm not, no. Where are I'm you in, at? Where I'm am I at? Ch- I don't know what's going on. This is how I travel, everybody. I don't know where I'm going. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what the story is with Cash Wheeler. I don't know how much of it is real and how much of it is storyline. But if you think for one second that that injury that he suffered could not have led to nerve damage, I mean, think again, bro. That that, that can happen. And suddenly he is attacked by, of all people, 2.0 and Daniel Garcia. All I can think was the best thing that ever happened to these dudes was being fired. They were doing nothing on NXT forever. And now they're here attacking the main eventer, doing angles with CM Punk on national TV with way more viewers. It worked out great for them. I mean, it can literally go either way. I mean, if for whatever reason he's decided this is the end of my career, I mean, what a way to go out by putting everything that you have into getting over a 25-year-old guy that you see as a potential future of this business. Here at the age of 45 years old, I figured out what I want to be when I grow up. I want to be Hook. You're just the most chill dude in the entire world. He's just there being Hook, and it's awesome. They beat them, and they beat them, and they beat them, and they beat them, and the show goes off the air with the beating still ongoing. I hope Rampage starts and still in the cage getting beaten up. This, I felt, was one of their best balanced go-home shows. They really sold you on the pay-per-view. They had great interviews, but we also got great wrestling action and a lot of excitement and fun. So as a go-home show, this was like two thumbs up. Trisha Dora calls her finish Lariat Tubman. <laughs> yeah. At this point, I decided Trisha Dora was my favorite wrestler because <laughs> Lariat Tubman is awesome. These three announcers began to shriek and howl. you never seen three men go crazy for an earful like this. They thought Eli Isom had killed Dragon Lee and was going to win the television title, and it was the best thing any of them ever saw in their entire lives. They were screaming for 15,000 people. That's 5,000 people each. Uh, I believe that that may have been the greatest call I have ever seen in this entire <laughs> so pandemic. Awesome. They are yes. fucking great on commentary.